Hello, thanks for being with us. We are here today at the headquarters of Hacker Boxes. Hacker Boxes is the monthly subscription box for DIY electronics and computer enthusiasts. Please uh, browse on over to hackerboxes.com if you're not familiar with our website and have a look. We'd love to have you as a subscriber to our monthly box. We're here today to talk about box number 005. The theme is get the lead out, get the LED, LED lead out. Um, as always, the instructions for our boxes are at, are at the Hacker School. You find Hacker School by browsing over to hackerboxes.com and clicking on Hacker School. So, let's see what's in this month's box. All right, well, we have a, a little introductory card here, as we've seen. Um, this card has... Um, some information, uh, reference information regarding some of the components that are in the box this month. Um, we here at Hacker Box has figured if some people can collect baseball cards, maybe we will collect cards that have information about electronic components. So we'll refer to that again as we look at the items in the box. So we have a, um, a special version of a um, Arduino compatible um, circuit board here from uh, the folks over at Robot Dine. Um, um, you can see this is a surface mount AVR microcontroller board and um, an interesting thing about this one is it, it has a uh, micro USB connector. Um, it also has the um, CH340 style um, serial USB interface, so we shouldn't have any um, FTDI gate to deal with on these. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just like any other Uno style board. And it, you know, it's black, so that's nice. Um, let's see, we also have some little RGB elements here, some uh, things that are sort of like Neo pixels. Right. So these use the um, WS2812B uh, RGB LED controller, which allows you to serially reference uh, address rather each of the um, LEDs that you connect together. And while these are like this, they can be broken apart pretty easily. They're uh, they're just manufactured like that, and then you can chain them together, you know, using some wire like this alarm wire, which was also in the box. Um, see, this is a, a four conductor, uh, basically alarm cable. It's a 22 gauge solid, uh, solid strand, not non-stranded wire, um, and it was real easy to solder onto these little pads on the back. So um, we'll have some information on that in the hacker school. Um, speaking of wire, there's some uh, this kind of short hookup uh, male female Dupont wire, and that is useful for. This um, Bluetooth uh, HCO5 module. So um, using this uh, this Bluetooth module here, and pop it out of this pack. You know, you can use these uh, uh, Dupont wires. Can be used to interface it to the um, uh, ports on the um, microcontroller board. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, what's next? Okay, we have a um, LED matrix here. It is um, an eight by 32, so it's uh, four eight by eight LED uh, matrices, and they are um, uh, connected together on the back. And they're they're serially interfaced using the um, the Max seven two one nine LED driver chip, which uh, is one of the items referenced on our. Um, uh, handy dandy uh, collectible reference card here. So that's very nice. And then um, lastly, there's this uh, beautiful kit for um, implementing a 4x4x4 um, a four by four by four cube of LEDs and their red blue LEDs uh, has a built in microcontroller and it's powered by a USB um, style a 5 volt power connector. So. Um, we'll have some uh, good instructions on how to solder this together because it's a it's a little bit of an interesting um, soldering challenge, a good experience. So 
Um, and then a nice little piece of swag we have this month. A koozie. Put your can in here. Maybe you could put some some root beer in that. Yeah.